aboard this episode. Uh, today, we're going to continue our series about the 50 states. As you can see, we've got our cool map here. And uh, this week, we're learning all about the state of Florida. Florida. Remember, we're starting up here. Florida's way down here. It's kind of a big state. Looks like a boot of sorts. Let's look at it on our, our fun colored in map. So as you can see, Florida's right there all the way down south. And there are so many fun and cool things about Florida. Florida has, uh, what are those, what are those things? What are those things with the teeth and the big noses? They, they, Captain Hook, I think, had an issue with them, right? A, a crocodile, crocodiles and alligators. And there's a, there's a place, a very fun place down there, isn't there, Henry? Oh, yeah. What's that called? Disney! Oh, Disney! I hear there's some pirates down there that we might be very good friends with. Anyways, we've got some great friends to help us learn a little bit more about Florida other than Disney and alligators. So let's take a look at what they've got, shall we? Oh, oh hi, Captain Jay, and thank you. Welcome, everyone, to the state of Florida. Two-thirds of the state lies on a peninsula between the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. So if you need to know about the state of Florida, the capital city is Tallahassee over the northwest part of the state. Our state flower is the orange blossom. Now, the state of Florida is home to many unique animals, some which are indigenous to the state. You have the American crocodile, the American alligator, the Florida panther, and the Florida manatee. Now, back in our age, back in the 1600s, pirates and sailors alike would often get confused when they saw a manatee. They actually thought they were seeing a live, real mermaid. Yes, yes they did. All right, here we are. We are in the nation's oldest city, the city of St. Augustine, and we've got something special to show you today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are at the Fountain of Come on in, let's go take a look. I am welcome to the Fountain of Youth here in the lovely city of St. Augustine. Now everybody, we're gonna take a tour, we're gonna look all around the Fountain of Youth, but I've got three of my mates here today who are gonna explain and give you some more information about the Fountain of Youth. First off, have the lovely, lovely Lady Red from the crew of the Blackheart. Fortunate enough today, we have the captain of the Matanzas Bay Buccaneers, Captain John Rader. Oh, hey, kids. And one of my own crewmates, the River Pirate from the crew of the 13. So are you ready to find out some information? We're going to have one of our one of our special guests today is going to change the course of history for everybody. So just stick to him. Let's go take a look. Come on. Here we are in front of the statue of Ponce de Leon, right here in the vicinity of St. Augustine is where he made his first landing to discover the Fountain of Youth. But here to tell us about some of the archaeological park here is the lovely Lady Red from the crew of the Blackheart. Take it away, Lady Red. Thank you, Captain Savage. I am so excited. We are here at the Fountain of Youth, an archaeological park, 15 acres of waterfront property where visitors can come and learn about Spanish settlers who came here in the 1500s. The park is bursting with history. Located in this area, first explored by Juan Pence de Leon in 1513 and settled by Pedro Menendez in 1565, making historic St. Augustine the oldest European settlement in the United States. All right, good day, kids. So here's the deal. When Spanish explorer Don Pedro Menendez de Aviles came ashore in 1565, he and his crew established the first European settlement right here along the shores of this beautiful park. This land was also the home of the native Timucua Indians, living in the village they called Siloy. The Timucua and the explorers lived in peace for a time. In fact, one of the first things that the explorers did was to hold a feast. And they gathered provisions off their ship, and they went out in the surrounding lands, and they hunted game, and they came back and they held this giant feast, and they invited the Timucua Indians to join them. So this indeed, kids, 
was the true first Thanksgiving held 56 years before the Pilgrims held Thanksgiving in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Well, it's about time we take a drink from the fountain of youth. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. This is how we stay so young. You couldn't tell I was born in the year 1671. So, we hope you've all enjoyed this today and enjoyed our view of the Fountain of Youth. Wait a minute. We forgot the most important thing. The most important thing. The most important thing about the Fountain of Youth here. Oh, what's The peacocks. The peacocks. Oh, We've oh, got no. to see the peacocks. Oh. Come on, everybody. We're going to the peacocks. No, Come on. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. No, no, we're going to see. I told you. Come on. So look at the peacocks here. Love peanuts, but uh, here's the thing. He turns no. his back. I'm getting a feather no. to add to the hat. Yep. No, here. What? Here. No, I want one of those. I don't want this. Oh. I can't have those. No. Come here. I, ow! 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 Here! Here! Come ow, with me. Ow! Ow! ow. <laughs> Guys, see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness, Henry. The Fountain of Youth? Did you see that? They were teaching us all about the Fountain of Youth. The Fountain of Youth where we can go and drink the water and stay youthful forever. We have to go there now. We're going to have to set sail. There's probably treasure amongst treasure about treasure. Boom. We've got to get maps. We've got to get our bags packed. And we've got to set sail. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's go. We'll see you guys next time. I'm very excited. Uh, bye! Wow, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my books, Captain J and the Misfit Crew and Captain J and the Perfect Pet, both available on barnesandnoble.com, wordery.com, and amazon.com. We'll see you next time.